What's going on guys? So I was having a conversation the other day and it really made me think, you know, how am I helping people outside of just developing a quality marketing strategy? And so if you have an idea for a business or you're managing a concept, I wanted to try to exhaust you a little bit with a couple of serious questions. First of all, are you getting or have you gotten into business for yourself? to follow your dreams? Well, do your dreams involve making a lot of money or having nice things or an ability to go golfing more often or have more leisure time or to be a girl boss? Maybe you're just even looking to spend more time with your kids eventually or maybe you're looking to impress girls. Or maybe you're just trying to impress people in general, right? What if you're just tired of the corporate infrastructure and you just wanna escape the workplace and work for yourself and just be your own boss and make your own decisions and have that financial freedom? Or maybe you just have a big ego and, and you wanna take something and make it into something and think that you could basically do whatever you want and make tons of money. Whatever the case may be, you have to understand like why are you fueled to work for yourself, be in business for yourself, or why do you have this idea to make money for yourself? Now I ask this because there's a big difference between, you know, just starting a business or launching an idea and building a brand. You know, you may have this brand, this personal brand envisioned in your mind, but unless there's like this passion behind it, or you're looking to make a real difference in the world or in your community, or you're really trying to harness your unique skill set, talent, or do, you know, what you were created to do, you know, what your qualities actually are, your characteristics in, in implementing those, then you're not actually building a brand or much of anything at all. You're creating a revenue stream you know without going into too much detail you know that's what a brand is like all of those things all of those characteristics funnel into a brand identity and who you are what you're doing and you have a purpose behind it and you're made for it my point is is you can start anything you want based on your experience your know-how or your personal knowledge right but is it what you are really made to do because in most cases it's just an avenue to make money right that's not a passion that's not a brand that's not an experience just because you know how to do something really well like maybe fix drains or fix some drywall or hang some mailboxes out in the street it doesn't mean that you're best suited to do that and sometimes people just need an extra push or an extra nudge or encouragement to follow those dreams because dreams can sometimes seem out of touch or out of reality if you're only stuck in what you know how to do you know me for example I'm really really good at SEO and, and creative direction and really putting together websites and photography and stuff but you know I don't want to sit behind a computer all day I don't think I was made for that. To not interact with people, to not lead people, to not motivate people, to not be critical of certain things that people could improve upon to find better results. Another way of you know looking at all of this from a different angle is it can be easy to just fall asleep mimicking what somebody else does really well. Following their roadmap, following their guide, understanding how they made a lot of money and duplicating that. But is it gonna fulfill you? You know, maybe you're starting your own business just because you don't want somebody else to boss you around anymore. You don't want to work underneath somebody in particular. But are you still going to be a slave to the work? Are you still going to be constantly climbing uphill just to get by? Do you realize that starting your own business is going to take a lot more work than just going to clock in? And it's going to be a lot more tough than being underneath somebody else's direction? Do you realize how hard it is to be self-motivating? To get up when you fail or to climb out of a hole when you're having a really rough time? At the end of the day, if there is not a passion or purpose behind the things that you're doing, and you're going after the money and you're going after these things, these solutions to these problems in your life, will you ever make a difference? Can you ever make a difference? Think about that. Will you ever establish a brand or some sort of foundational service or product that you can build upon, that you love doing, that you get up in the morning for and you live for it? Does finally launching a business or an idea really help you spend more time with your kids? Does it really help you become more happy? Even if you spend more time with your kids, is that time impactful? Are you teaching them to follow their passions? Are you teaching them to live in their element? Are you teaching them to chase things that they don't even care about? Want to do, enjoy, find fulfillment in? I mean, will making money or doing it yourself, right, really impress people? Does it really get you what you want? If you don't have a passion behind what you're doing, are you really able to be valued, appreciated, respected, acknowledged, promoted, or inspirational yourself? Will material things and success really satisfy you as much as living in your element? Like I said before, going into business for yourself is risky in itself. It's not just this easy process that you can do and roll out and make money, even if you're duplicating what somebody else does or following some sort of roadmap. When the going gets tough or somebody with passion is competing against you, how are you gonna compete? How are you gonna overcome? How are you going to rise up in value if you don't even really care what you're doing? Listen, I know how to do marketing, I know how to do this and that, and I can boast and boast and boast and boast. But at the end of the day, if I'm not going to help people figure out who they are, who they best serve, 
driven why they're doing those things, what am I really doing? Because at the end of the day, it's what I'm really passionate about. What difference does it make if I can create and launch a website or take somebody's thoughts and put them into words? Who cares if I can quickly understand and articulate and then communicate your business value when you already know what it is? What about those people that don't even know how to? What difference does it make? What dent in the world am I really making? How am I grabbing somebody that's in this one position and pulling them, slingshotting them forward? Sure, a website can garner more leads. Sure, marketing can help you do this and do that and get more exposure, but that's not what I do for you. That's not what you're hiring me for. That's not what a pre-focus is. While a lot of people really need a lot of help building their business and having those elements in order, there's a whole different set of value when it comes to really, really helping somebody figure out what their passion is, what they were made for, and helping them build that into a brand that people can see, understand, and believe in. Most importantly, I want you to believe in yourself. Helping people locate an identity that derives from a passion helps them curate a culture that not only leaves them fulfilled, but everybody that's a part of it. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys, and always remember to pre-focus.